hello friends welcome to this new video tutorial on ms excel today our video tutorial is about finding the gpa in a short and easy method so you will see on later that how it is different and easy from the other methods of finding gpa so let's start uh, let's for example i have uh, only six subject in my semester so here at the first uh, column i will be writing the serial number from one to six so i have write three and now scroll down up to six number so i have write the serial number now in the next column uh, i will write the subjects so type uh, subject and below it write the um, name of your subject so let's for example i have uh, subject mathematics islamic studies or islamiyat and in the next let's uh, for example uh, the next subject is english and then uh, write the park study as the next subject and then uh, let's for example uh, this is uh, mos1 or me mechanics of solid and then write mechanics of solid lab so let's for example i have these uh, six subject in my semester and the credit hour of this subject will be in the next column so write the credit hour and below write uh, this the credit hours or the weightage so mathematics has three credit hour islamiyat is two english is three park study is two and let's mos is three and mos lab is one so here uh, write the uh, grade that you have achieved in these uh, particular subjects so here i will write the grade so for example i have achieved the grade uh, b plus in the mathematics so write b plus for mathematics and for islamiyat uh, you can write uh, your achieved grade and similarly for english a negative and for, for park study also write uh, a negative and let's uh, in the mos it is uh, a positive or simple a so I will remove the negative sign from this and then in the next uh, write uh, a grade for MOS lab as well so these are the grades and now uh, write down the values of these grade in this uh, next uh, column so here I will write the grades or the value of these grade so for example, uh, since I know that B plus is equal to 3.33 and uh, the a negative is 3.67 and next one is also a negative so write uh, 3.67 and similarly write for the park study as 3.67 because it is also a negative and then A is the pull grade so it will be equal to 4 and um, for MOS lab also A so it will also be equal to 4 now the next column write the the grade point so the grade point is equal to the credit hour uh, time the grade value so here i will be multiplying the credit hour to the grade value so here uh, add the summation and then we will be selecting the credit hour and then the grade value so i have calculated for this for all uh, the other uh, you calculate in the same manner by clicking on that dot so here you see that i have calculated the grade points by multiplying the credit hour of a subject to the grade value of that subject so now i have find the grade points now i will find the average of this so it will become gpa so the formula for this is the sum of the all the grade points divided by the sum of uh, all the credit hours so uh, here I have, uh, will uh, calculate the GPA through this uh, for, uh, formula but I have add the equality sign now uh, add the sum and select the credit hour from the um, L7 to L12 so this is that uh, particular range so that will be the sum of the grade point and now divide by the sum of the grade values so now divide this by the sum of the credit hours so at the sum function and from i7 to i12 and now hit the enter so this is how you calculate the gpa and your gpa is equal to 3.69 approximately equal to 3.67 uh, 3.7 sorry so this was a short method for finding the gpa and it was very easy 
सो होप यू लाइक दिस ट्यूटोरियल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग सब्सक्राइब एंड